Hey guys, welcome to How Nifty. This 15 year old visual effects artist created a short film in which every shot was 100% computer generated. The level of realism in these shots is something you would not expect from a project that took two months to complete. Can you name another film that has robots driving Cadillacs around an old school city from the 60s? If you ever wanted to become a professional camera operator, you should take notes from this guy. Aside from the fact that these cameras are specifically designed for broadcasts and can cost upwards of $200,000, you still need lots of training and experience to pull off these moves. Speaking of training, it looks like this guy got the message. Here is an edit someone made of what it would be like if the wrong person got hold of the Infinity Stones. Seriously though, I'm really impressed by how well these clips were blended together. If I had to guess, rotoscoping Tuco Salamanca from Breaking Bad probably took several hours in and of itself. So let me know in the comments what you think was most challenging for the editor who made this clip. When people say your smartphone is the most powerful device in your possession, this is probably what they mean. In the dark night, the iconic hospital explosion scene was so complicated it put the entire production team under huge pressure. Beyond having to blow up a real building in just one costly take, the timing of the explosions had to be just perfect in order to protect the actors on set. Just imagine if someone forgot to press record. If you like music, you have probably seen this awesome ad for Beats by Dr. Dre. To replicate this effect, all you need to do is use the stabilize motion feature in your editing software and track the main subject like the earphones. If you notice any unwanted bits cutting into your frame, simply scale the footage to where they are not visible and there you go. This is what the new Chip and Dale film looked like behind the scenes. Did you guys know that Vin Diesel was the voice actor for Groot in Guardians of the Galaxy? I am Groot. Slow. I am Groot. Someone made a Netflix style documentary about Toast using a simple lighting setup and some rented camera equipment. Monday the 23rd. If not for the crafty setup, I think the pacing and overall sound design really nailed what we as an audience are used to seeing on Netflix. So that is it for today guys, thanks for watching How Nifty, and I will see you in the next one.